Welcome to a new video. Today's subject, epoxy versus polyurethane floors. This is a question I get a lot. What are the differences between epoxy and polyurethane floors? I mean look at these two pictures. Here one has been done with an epoxy floor. One has been done with a polyurethane floor. Do you know which is which? Someone who has experience, if they go close up, they can probably tell the difference. But most of us cannot tell the difference. And more importantly, why do we select epoxy or why do we select polyurethane? This is the subject of today's presentation. So let's go straight and look at the main reasons why I would select one or the other. Now, very important point before we go on. In this video, I am talking about industrial floor coatings. There are many other applications like rooftops, sports surfaces, metal surfaces, we're not talking about these today. Today, we are simply comparing industrial floor coatings, epoxy-based and polyurethane-based. We're going to look at the basic differences. Another important point because some people need to remember that there's many different types of epoxies, many different types of polyurethane floors. Today, we're looking at the basic differences to the two what we've seen in the industry over the past few years. So, we are first going to look at the operational differences. These are differences that are based on how these two types of floors behave when the floor is in operation. So let me give you an example. The epoxy floors tend to be harder than polyurethane floors. They have a higher compressive strength and impact strength. So that's one of the reasons why we do prefer epoxies in heavy-duty facilities. Any facility with heavy forklifts, epoxies are much better behaved than polyurethanes. Now, another operational difference is as we said, epoxy is harder. Polyurethane floors are actually softer and elastic. Now this can be a good thing. Because polyurethane floors are softer, they have a much better resistance to scratching. Because they kind of absorb the impact, rather than just being forced on the other surface. And because they are elastic, they can also work in low freezing temperatures. And let's see now where you would most likely see a polyurethane floors. You would see polyurethane floors in spaces with foot traffic. Because it's softer more and more friendly. Towards pedestrians. You will see them a lot in multideck car parks. And why is this because the waterproofing layer is elastic. Poo layer is elastic. So it works better in a car park. If you have many floors. Where you want to make sure that each floor also waterproofs from the floor beneath. That's why we would prefer polyurethane. And we also prefer polyurethane floors in freezing chambers because epoxy can not withstand 30 degrees Celsius. But polyurethane can. So polyurethane is much more suitable for freezing chambers. Also we tend to see polyurethane as a top coat. So we put the polyurethane as a thin top coat to pretend scratching. These are the operational differences. Another difference between polyurethane and epoxy floors is the chemical resistance. Did you know that for certain types of industries we prefer polyurethanes? A great example is dairy production. Milk, yogurt, cheese production. These floors are exposed to lactic acid and from chemical experiments. We see that polyurethane floors are much more resistant to lactic acid than epoxies are. So, for these types of floors, I would definitely prefer the use polyurethanes. However, there are also other industries where epoxies are preferred. Another example of sulfuric acid, if you're working with battery production. Epoxies are much better. If you put a polyurethane floor with sulfuric acid, let's just say it would not look very well. What we always recommend to check for these chemical resistance characteristics with the manufacturer of a product. Before doing poo or epoxy. To know more details please visit our website www.fountechbd.com or call us for free consultation to economic and long-lasting your operational floor.